good morning everybody and welcome to another video it is mask monday how is your monday going how's your monday going i know for me it's barely six o'clock on the west coast so got up early was not feeling well yesterday i'm not the one who missed mask monday video it is monday you're supposed to do it on the weekend and have it ready and edited lord almighty look it i haven't even had my full cup of coffee yet and i'm trying to watch tv get this damn ring light out of my face i i understand that thank you very much the old vieja over here she wants me to get out of the way so she can watch tv uh, you know the old alter ego still in bed well she comes in here we come in here first thing in the morning me and my husband we get up early and uh, on a good day and then I come in here and this is kind of where I spend my day so it's like the office it's like going to the office and she tears up the darn bed and she throws all the pillows on the ground and gets in there and, and you know just gets all comfortable it's not that big of a deal we make that bit every day so um, anyway, how is your mask Monday going? How is your Monday going? <laughs> Let's get onto this video. All right. I have cleansed my face, pulled my hair, but I pulled my hair back. It's because it was in my face. Now you want me to get up and wash my face, cleanse all this. This is gorgeous. Okay. This is gorgeous. And this hair is, you're going to go and pull it back and make yourself all snazzy. I like it. Face. Is, all right <laughs> how expect me to put a mask on this if i can't pull my hair back oh, okay enough from the peanut gallery anyway i'm using the mask from maskology this is the hyaluronic gummy mask and i do have to mix it all up it says it takes 60 seconds to mix however it starts hardening quick so um i've never used it i'm a little nervous because of you know how quickly i have to get this thing going so it says open it it's a 15 did i tell you it's 15 i forget i forget sitting over there in your captain's chair telling everybody how pretty you are but you've got no friends what am i i already cleaned the dog box because your butt was in here playing with this so just you back the hell up. You need a cup of coffee and a cigarette. No, we don't smoke. <laughs> Anyhow, it comes with a that comes with the mixing tray. It comes with the hyaluronic gel, which is step one. Step two is the activating powder, and it also has a spatula. So I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna feel like a chemist for a little while. Be just you. Know, just bear with me this right here is add-ons from boxy but i also still have that story that is set in 1971 so if you'd like that one i think we might go there okay so here we go this is the first one this is the hyaluronic acid it is hydrating firming and brightening this is my spatula i did get one just in case because i wasn't quite sure <laughs> look it's got the name on it I wasn't quite sure how this was all going to work. Here's step two. This is the activating powder. My hands are really shaky this morning. We had a very bad day yesterday. Okay. I got my mixing bowl. <laughs> I should have just went in the kitchen and grabbed something. So we are going to dump this goop into this. Oh, look. See, I told you it's like melting gummy bears. Fold it in half and then squeeze. Look at that. That's kind of cool. So this is what hyaluronic acid looks like, right? In gel form. I have everything in here. And then I'm going to dump in this activating powder and start mixing like a mixologist. <laughs> so here it goes. I'm trying not to get it everywhere. So this is the activating powder. 
There's not much in there. Did you guys have a good weekend? Any good movies or binge watching on Netflix happening this weekend? Anything cool? Did you go anywhere? I know we're still, my husband and I are very diligent when it comes to, you know, not being anywhere in crowds and stuff. We just, I mean, I'm really not wanting <laughs> to be sick, period. I lost my mom to this darn thing. I'm not going to have someone else in my family go through it. I have about another 15 minutes to go um, only because I really didn't have the clock start for me until I put everything like really got it on my face so I'm just gonna share that quick story with you that's take you back and set it in 1971 so I was my father had a ranch in um, in the town about 15 minutes from where I live and it was way in the back along the river this, this same river across the street from me was across the street from that huge horse ranch. It was a horse boarding ranch. We had everything, chicken, cows, goats, pigs, rabbits, um, it, whatever farm animal you can think of, we had. And I had a little pony. My dad got me a little pony. Her name was Miha. Well, all the kids rode it. It was, it was for, you know, for us little ones. And... I was playing, there's this large area. We had three different barns. The big, huge barn was in the back. We had a massive driveway that passed this huge ranch house, which is where we lived. And then if you kept on going, you could probably line seven cars up alongside each other like that. That's how wide it was. Just giving you a mental vision, you know, giving, giving you a vision <laughs> of what, what it looked like. And so you could drive all the way back there and then it kind of did this you, you know, um, horseshoe like thing as you come back, come back around. And I was sitting in the middle of that driveway playing in the dirt. And all the kids were over my cousins, everybody. My dad was sitting there talking with my uncle. And here comes my brother on my pony on Miha and he says several times you better move I said no and he said I told you you better move I'll run you over and I went are you kidding me you know I'm like it's no and I look at dad and I you know tell my dad and I'm he's he says he's gonna run over me and my dad just kind of looks like and my brother looks back over at me and says move or I'll run right over you. And he proceeded to run right over me with a pony. I am five years old when he did this. He was about eight, nine. Yep, him and the little pony just right over top of me. It scared me more than it hurt. And it hurt minute later it was the shock of being run over <laughs> of course my dad and my uncle were like it, their eyes got like you know as big as oranges and I jump up and I take off running to my dad you know what his response was he told you to move it got it's gouts on her and whatever else I don't know he said he told you to move. That was his only response besides, you know, comforting me because now I had on this side of my face a hoof print. Later to learn that the damage that did that day, because we never went to the doctors. I never went anywhere. It's just kind of like go back in, go, let's go in the house, put some ice on it, clean it up, you know, because there's a couple areas, almost like little scratches where her hoof and ponies hooves are very small 
on a face of a five-year-old, they're huge. It occupied this entire side of my face. So this face has had some horse stories. Instead of horror, it's had horse stories tied to it. Go in the house, we're going to put antibiotics, band-aids, whatever, ice on it, and you'll be just fine. Years later, come to find out that it actually broke and did some damage in where the jaw, you know, where it comes together back, back here, actually did some serious damage. So I was supposed to go under the knife up at UCSF in San Francisco um, many, many years ago, and I declined because they were going to shave my head. They had to shave my head because they had to open up my skull. They had to go in there, get muscle that was, you know, up here, the muscle in my skull, and build a pad. You know, but they had to build two pads. That's how extensive the damage was that eventually, as I got older, would need to be corrected. As the doctor said, had you gone to the ER that day, they would have found out that your jaw was busted and shattered in a couple of places. Thanks a lot, Dad, because I'll tell you something like next day, later on that day, it hurt a lot. But we're little, you know, five years old, your bones are still kind of, you know, they're, they're growing, they're finding their place in the body. And it eventually, um, you know, some areas grew together, some areas floated and <laughs> just caused some serious damage or some serious pain. Some, at some point in time, as it healed it did cause a lot of pain. I've never had the surgery. The pads in my jaw are pretty much just, they told me you, you, you would not be able to talk anymore. You would not be able to eat. Well, I am talking to you. So something, the good Lord above, like I said, hallelujah, we have church up in here, but you know, the good Lord above has different plans for me and um, I'm still eating. <laughs> just the only area you can tell I'm eating is my stomach. Oh, wait. My butt. But I can, I can still eat. I can still talk. That's kind of my point. So I hope you guys enjoy that story. It's still a horror. It is a horror in my memories. In these <laughs> memories. It's one that never leaves. Um... I think if I told my brother, I've, I've told him several times as we've grown up, slowly he forgets. And then there's other times he'll say, he'll, he, he might, this is the response I've gotten. Didn't I tell you to move? And it's like, there's like, you know, 50, what, 25, 25 yards, not feet, 25 yards that way and probably another 10 yards that way. And you can't go around this little five-year-old no dad said i told you to move <laughs> oh my god and then later on telling my dad how much damage it did he says i'm really sorry sis <laughs> i could say, can i give you the bill anyway that's my story and i'm sticking to it and my face still has wears the um the horrors of that day. It's time to take this thing off. Now it actually does feel rubbery. I mean, believe it or not, it doesn't look like it's changed any kind of texture. The texture still looks all goopy, but it feels like a silicone rubber mask. And I did kind of go like this a little bit because it says to start pulling it from the outside. And if you go like that, see how it's starting to come off? <laughs> it's, it's pretty cool. If any of you guys got these from BoxyCharm or Ipsy, get them. If you have the chance to, get them. This is really really cool. I'm just going to dump these in here. Didn't really do a good clean job on my nose. 
I was hesitant to put it on my nose to begin with anyway. Anyway, you guys, that is it. That's everything for my Mask Monday. I use the Maskology. This is the Hyaluronic Gummy Molding Mask. And I gotta say, it's an experience in itself. If you ever find one of these masks on sale through Ipsy or Boxy, I don't remember which one I got it from. I wanna say it was Ipsy, but I could be wrong. Just, if it's in one of my videos, but my point is, they came in like a couple, it was like packs of two. And I think I got a cut because I know I have like three or four of them still in my, in my, sorry, my alarm went off, which is my daily alarm and it cut me off. Um, yeah, I do have a whole bunch of masks still back there in my basket. How does my face feel? Oh my God. It feels so soft and it's even softer since um, about, I don't know, four days ago, five days ago, I did my face. I shaved my face. I do the planing, the derma planing. I have one of those really nice derma planing that has all the blades with it. As soon as you get done with one blade, you throw it in the trash. I do not reuse my blades, not on my face. But you guys, wow. Does it look bright? Does, do I look bright? <laughs> Aside from the morning sun coming in. It looks nice. That's all I'm going to say. But anyhow, that is it for this Mask Monday. I hope you guys have an absolutely wonderful week. I hope you enjoyed that story set back in 1971 of um, me getting stepped on by a little Shetland pony get out of the way next time somebody tells you get out of the way get the hell out of the way all right you guys take care i love you i appreciate you very much if you're new here please let me know down below that you stopped by say hello and for those of you returning my normal subscribers regular subscribers always let me know you stopped by and i know it's tough I do the same thing. I'm very guilty of it. There are some times when I'm just on a roll watching videos and I forget to hit that thumbs up. Click it. Click it before you even watch the video. All right, you guys, take care. Have a lovely week and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.